Oh look, they're geese. Ooh, one just totally pooped. Thank God it wasn't on my head. I wanted to talk about ADHD and depression. Let's get down to some brass tacks here into the nitty and gritty of life. But I wanted to talk about ADHD and depression because it is something that I know that we struggle with and I think it's cyclical, but I am just a girl with a camera that talks about mental health. So obviously I'm not a doctor. If you are struggling with depression, seek professional help. But if this is all you have, hi, how are you? My name is Ardell. I like to talk about ADHD, mental well-being, and personal development. And I wanna be honest, like first of all, usually, okay, wow. I wanted to just do a vlog style video. I just wanted to chill. I went on a walk. Ooh, there is literally poop everywhere. <laughs> Hi, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, watch where you're going. Landmines everywhere. But I just wanted to talk about ADHD and depression coming from somebody that's had ADHD diagnosed to herself since I think 2018. I can't even remember anymore. Um, it's been a while and people, I got on antidepressants before I was diagnosed with ADHD because people thought maybe I had depression because of my sleep habits and because of, you know, my distractibility and I'd be interested in things and then no longer interested or I'd sign up for something and then quit, which I didn't realize that was my impulse control. Ooh, they're coming. Oof. I might have to like bail and go somewhere else. Depression is, I think, a sub, what is it? A... See, here's my ADHD in full force and I'm freaking out about these geese. ADHD is a, depression is a comorbidity of ADHD. There, I think I figured it out. These geese. <laughs> if you don't know anything about Canadian geese, first of all, I've never been attacked, but they can be vicious and they're all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And those are some big birds. I'm sorry. We're walking ADHD and we're avoiding landmines. Depression is a comorbidity of ADHD. I'm not exact on that, but I know that we can suffer with cyclical depression, circumstantial depression. We get depressed because we started something, we quit and then we're down on ourselves. And I just wanted to talk about ways that I've learned to cope when I feel like I am depressed. One is to go on a walk. I love bodies of water. I live by a beautiful little park. And so I, instead of sitting in my room moping because my house can be dark and depressing sometimes, and I love my home, don't get me wrong, but I felt like I needed to get out of my home and like break the cycle of monotony that was my house. Look how pretty this is. So I just wanted to share my insights. I don't know how long I'm gonna sit in this position because I'm kind of squatting and it looks like I'm about to go to the restroom, but I just wanted to share my insights on what I do to cope. One is I, I'm not perfect with this, but the importance of making sure that you are active is, so important <laughs> it's very deep exercise is so good for mental health it's like the best antidepressant out there i'm not saying just because you exercise you're going to feel great all the time but to, to just make sure that you keep yourself active if you're struggling with feelings of depression and sadness i recommend reaching out to a friend if you have somebody that's safe that you can call and talk to and that will be there for you and actually listen and not just like placate your mood and make you feel worse off afterwards like you overshared like why did I tell them all that much also if you don't have anybody like that I recommend seeking help I am in therapy more on that later but my therapist is a trained professional and she gives me tools to cope whenever I'm feeling super depressed and strategies to use whenever I'm not feeling my best this is really hard let's move and when I say move we're on the move my therapist has given me tools to cope whenever I'm dealing with feelings of depression. And first of all, when I first started going to therapy, that was years ago, and all I would do is just sit and talk. So I think therapy is good for anybody. That is my humble opinion. Wow, look at all the poop. I was gonna sit at that park bench, but I don't know if this is an option. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. Um, well, I'm kind of having a shitty day anyways. Mine as well, I'll sit right here. <laughs> when you're feeling like crap, and you're surrounded by a crappy situation, um, I would definitely seek therapy, seek professional help, recommend reaching out to a friend. I definitely recommend exercising and something that I find that has been very helpful and beneficial to me and something I notice a difference of whenever I'm not doing it is eating healthy. 
I know that I have a very sensitive mind. I'm only speaking for myself here, but I know that the way you feel your body really affects your mental health, especially your gut health to your brain health. Your gut sends more messages to your brain than the other way around. So if you're eating like crap, you're gonna feel like crap. Sugar is horrible for you. We all know this. I'm not saying cut out sugar completely. I really try to avoid it. Am I perfect? No. Did I recently go on vacation to California and completely have California, Los Angeles taco truck tacos? Yes. Did I have horchata? Yes. Is it a lot of sugar? Yes. Do I feel like I felt it later? Honestly, yeah. Whenever I eat like crap, I notice that there is a moment where I always am like, why do I feel bad? And I do reflect back and I feel that it is that I'm not feeling my body properly. Another thing I do to supplement the way I eat is I take supplements and vitamins. I try to make sure that I'm up on my fish oil, my vitamin B methylated, my vitamin Bs in general, vitamin C, vitamin D, because I've been got my blood drawn by a doctor and I have very low vitamin D. A lot of people naturally do especially if you live in a place that's not naturally sunny, like good old sunny California. But vitamin D is really important for you, making sure you take the right magnesium and making sure you get, I know, I left you so you would leave me alone. See? Getting out in nature really does help too. Like those birds are really entertaining to me. If you're feeling lonely, just go on a walk. If there's a place that you know is close by. I live by a lot of parks. This park is the closest. It does have a lot of people at it, which is sometimes fun for people watching. Just getting out and about and just seeing that there are people outside of your world is really, they just full circled. They just went back right back to where they started. Anyways, getting out and about helped. But back to what I was saying about vitamins and supplements. I take fish oil, vitamin B, D, magnesium. I take vitamin K because I think that helps process vitamin D. I need to do a whole video on vitamins because I'm still learning. Um, but making sure that you eat healthy, healthy fats, organic as much as you can. All I try to eat as much as I can healthy. And I'm not perfect and I feel like there's so much to learn about the way we're supposed to fuel our bodies. There's different diets, different schools of thoughts all across the board. I feel like the more we learn, the more we realize that they were wrong back in the day. Like I remember being on the South Beach diet, like what kind of diet was that? But exercise, eating right, feeling yourself right, supplementing yourself where you feel like you might be lacking and just supplements in general, making sure that you get good sleep. My sleep habits have gotten better because of my, di my diagnosis with ADHD because I started learning that people that have ADHD struggle with sleep and, um, the more I know, the more I've grown. The more I know, the more I grow. Oh, they're landing. Come on, bird, fly into the water for them. Oh, he's alone. Go with your friends. Let's see if what happens here. Why is he not flying? Come on, visionary aviator, fly. And eh, he's like, eh, I'm just gonna take my time. And sometimes it's okay to take your time and do it at your own pace. We all grow and mature at different rates. I just wanted to encourage you to talk about depression because it is something that I struggle with from time to time. And I wanted to be honest and not just act like I've got it all together. Oh my gosh, there's babies. I am so distracted right now. There are totally babies. Oh, <gasps> they're babies. Look at them. Should I go closer? I think those are ducks. I don't think those are geese. I think I think I, I think I see a mom duck. Let's go. I just don't want to be attacked, really. That's my only concern here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Come with me. The babies. The baby duckies. Okay, so recap. First of all, I'm heading home. It's getting dark, but Get out of your house, go on a walk. Exercise is super good for mental health. Just my mood is so much better than it was when I was in my house. I was really in my head and getting out of the house, looking at the colors around you. I like to look and count how many different greens I can see or how many different blues I can see. Just get yourself present in the moment is really helpful for me. Getting out in nature, breathing the air, doing breathing techniques has really helped me with my anxiety and my depression. Box breathing is really helpful for me. Meditation has been really helpful for me. And I just was caught off guard with my mood today. And I think it might be because I'm PMSing and I started my period TMI, but it was just abnormal. And I was like, well, wait a minute. First of all, I'm not immune to cycles of depression or sadness, but I also don't have to stay in it. And I just wanted to encourage anybody that's 
fighting for their mental health or fighting to get better, don't be discouraged because you had one day or two days or three days or a month or a season that's just depressed, depressing. You'll get out of it. I'm speaking from experience. I'm, I'm Obviously, I'm not you. I'm only me. But I've been in cycles of depression where it's scary that I've been as depressed and as sad as I had been for as long as I was, especially losing my parents. I'm dodging bullets here. When there's days that I find myself sad again, it, it's fearful. I'm like, oh no, why am I back here again? But growth, mental growth, personal development, it's not linear. It's like, a, as I've been told, it's like a plate of spaghetti. You know, it's it just goes haywire sometimes. But because if you're fighting for it and you're growing and you have experiences that you know that you got past, you've made it past those difficult days, you can anchor yourself to those memories of, I got past that. If I got past that, I can get past anything. It's making me emotional thinking about it. First of all, comedy, oof. Comedy is like my, my jam. Whenever I'm sad, I do put on a good comedy show. Laughter is the best medicine. I laugh at my life. I try to find humor in everything, not to just like ignore my problems, but laughter is really good for you. And it's really good for me too. I wanna to find reasons to laugh and to not take everything so seriously because life is serious enough. But with that said, it makes me emotional because I know what it's like to struggle with seasons of sadness. And I just wanna encourage you to know that you're not gonna stay there forever. That there are tools, there are things you can do to get yourself out of it. And there are ways that you can care for yourself to, cause nobody else is gonna care for you more than you. And I'm, I'm speaking, from experience like I have a lot to be grateful for and I feel like gratitude has been another thing that I've used to really help myself get out of just seasons of sadness and I know that sounds so easier said than done like be grateful be thankful but it really does help it really does when you're like I have so much to be grateful for it helps you just be like well it could always be worse and then sometimes it really can be but just getting yourself out of sad thinking by being grateful, writing down things you're thankful for every day. I know that our wire, our brains are wired in a way that can be difficult at times, but we have, everybody has so much to offer the world and only we can be ourselves and we have to show up as ourselves and really fight for our mental health. So I don't know. I just wanted to make a quick vlog video, take you on my walk with me. I was having a really sad, depressing day and that's normal. And I wanted to show you a little bit more of my authenticity that I'm not always perfect. I don't always have a perfect day. Just encourage you and be authentic with you and sit beside you and let you know, I have my bad days too. And if you do, that's okay. Go on an adventure by yourself. And um, I don't know, I hope that this, this helped you, my lovely little visionaries. It's the best I got today with where I'm at today. And you all must know by now that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and that you are in my prayers. And I will see you next time, bye. And ADHDers are famous for one last thing. Rewiring your brain to think positively is called neuroplasticity. And when you start teaching yourself to think positive and see the positive in things, the easier it is for you to rewire to that neural pathway and the, the easier it is for you to be positiver. And that's one thing I've noticed. And that's one thing that came up into my mind today. Anyways. Yeah, and one more thing. Uh, I do want to say that for me, I know everybody won't agree with me on this one, but praying and reading my Bible always really helps me too. The Bible's not ashamed or afraid to acknowledge that, you know, life isn't easy and that people struggle with happiness. And you'll find scriptures in the Bible that God is near the brokenhearted and to weep with those who weep. And it's a heavy burden that God's laid on mankind. Life isn't easy and nobody is given an easy deck of cards and nobody has it scot-free in this life without challenges and difficulties so that really helps me too anyways all right bye wow